racing to the rescue of victims of attack in a flash. He'll foil the foe with a quick boomerang. Loyal friends of the sea to the end is a marine boy. Do 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 do. My name's Jim Samorban. Whoever's the head of this house called me to come here. So you're the famous Samorban of the super spy agency, eh? I've been expecting you. I'm not so easy to get. I'm glad to see that. I was just testing you, Mr. Samorban. I wanted to see if you were the real Samorban. Shake hands with the statue of Gorilla Gorilla, and then I'll let you see me. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Samorbond. Phineas Wartoad's the name. Make yourself comfortable. A fine way you greet your guests, Wartoad. Well, you must admit it's different. Now that I'm here, what can I do for you? I want to show you a movie. I hope it's got some gags. I like gags. That's the Ocean Patrol headquarters. I thought it looked familiar. And that's the commander. Film's kind of dull so far. And that's Professor Fumble, the super brain of the Ocean Patrol. I've heard that he's got a new invention, but I don't know what it is yet. I've also heard that he'll test it tomorrow. I'm beginning to get interested. Then you might like to do a job for me. Name it and I'll do it. I want to get Fumble's invention. But you've got to be careful of the Ocean Patrol's patrol boats. Don't let them interfere with the job. And be most careful of that kid, Marine Boy. He swims better than a fish. And he's got a dangerous weapon, that boomerang. Those boots help him go through the water fast, and sometimes he uses them as an extra weapon. Another thing, that suit he wears is bulletproof. It makes him practically invincible. Okay, stop the movie. That's the film, and that's the job. Think you can do it? I've never lost a case yet. Then here's a down payment. When and if you succeed, I'll give you two more of these diamonds. This is a gem. A real gem of a diamond. Thanks for the job, Mr. Wartold. Marine boy, I'll finish you for good. As you know, ships are constantly getting wrecked here in delinquent straits. In this day and age, accidents like that must not be allowed to happen accidentally. 
And so, after a staggering amount of research, I invented the Ultra Freezer. It's my most ingenious invention so far. It works so efficiently that any part of the sea can be turned into solid ice on which anything can be built. Professor Fumble sounds as if he's trying to sell it instead of just explaining it. <coughs> uh, th th therefore, with the endorsement of the Ocean Patrol, I have decided to give a public demonstration. Is the P-1 ready, Marine Boy? I'll check. Marine Boy calling the P-1. Are you ready for the Ultra Freezer demonstration? This is the P-1, and we're ready. Wow, look at the ice. That was a very impressive demonstration. But my invention can do much more than that, Dr. Mariner. This tank is filled with more ultra-freezer powder. You've got so much, you could turn the whole ocean to ice. So this truck's filled with Professor Fumble's newest invention. Time for a drive. Come back here! Come back, Steve! Marine Boy! After it! Looks like some more bonds pulled off the job. Open the secret entrance. Give me that wheel! Uh, you... Uh, 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 stop the truck! Faster! Uh, 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 <laughs> Marine boy! The tank of ultra freezer powder must be blowing up! There's no sign of Marine boy, is there? I'm afraid not, Dr. Mariner. Wreckage from the truck! Where's Marine Boy? We've failed. They're frozen solid somewhere in that solid ice, both of them. Marine boy! Oh, I hope he's down here somewhere. What's that? A tire from the truck. I hope this means we're going to find my son. Start that superheat heater heating! I'm afraid that even 30 superheat heaters won't melt this ice. Okay, too, Marine Boy. 
That was a cool crash. You! You'll pay for this! Take it easy, kid. You know where we are? Right now, I don't care. You want to fight some more? You bet I do! <laughs> My turn, kid. <laughs> Kid. That's just the beginning. Hey, what's happening? It's a placodont monster. I guess that strange fireball is stronger than the monster. Obviously, but what is it? Look out, it's coming this way. The weirdest thing I've ever seen. This whole place is weird. Yeah, it's like a whole different world. Must be some kind of underground sea. And we fell through the underwater ground, under the water, into it. This means that Delinquent Straits has a double bottom. And when the Ultra Freezer powder blew up, we fell through. Thanks to you. Please, Marine Boy, let's not start fighting again till we get out of here. Who knows what other kinds of weird monsters and things are down here. So right now, we've got to help each other. Yeah! Oh! Missiles aren't strong enough against this monster. Thanks, kid. You saved me. How come you did a thing like that, even though you know I'm no good? No matter how no good a man may be, saving his life is important. I never thought of it like that before. You know, for a good kid, you're not bad. Well, I try to do what I think is right. Now, let's try to find a way out of here. Marine boy calling the P-1. Marine boy call... Oh, no! My radio's broken! I don't think this rock is very thick. There's lots of ice there. Let's go further. Uh-oh! My oxygen tank is empty. I need oxygen. Here, chew some of my oxygum. Hey, that's great. I can breathe underwater now. And now you've saved my life twice. I'll have to find a way to repay you. I won't be needing this empty tank. Keep that superheater heat on full blast! Well, I hope we reach Marine Boy in time. What's that? The sea bottom tide. What a sight. Marine boy! Marine boy! That metal bracelet on the monster's foot means somebody owns it. I'll try something else.
That was a close one. Thanks. That was the least I owe you. Splasher, you say that Marine Boy's inside a wrecked truck in there? He's not in the truck, Splasher. <laughs> But he's not! See for yourself! <laughs> Don't worry, it won't break. See? Marine boy! And he's alive! He's right under this ocean bottom! What's the matter? Are you tired, Mr. Samor Bond? Mostly, I'm hungry. Come on, you can't give up. I just don't think we'll ever find a way out. But there's got to be a way. Didn't you notice that ring around the monster's leg? That means somebody owns it. But that still doesn't mean there's a way out. You know, Marine boy, if I could get out of here, I'd reform. I'd work on the side of law and order. And I've got to find a way out as soon as possible. <laughs> Place to hide. Phineas Warto's secret testing grounds. Ah! Marine Boy's in danger. Splasher, go and tell the Ocean Patrol. Is Marine Boy in there? Nobody's in there, Dr. Mariner. I'm so sorry, Dr. Mariner. My son. And I thought Marine Boy was practically invincible. But somehow, I still feel he may be alive. Splasher looks as if he's got something to tell us. Maybe he's found Marine Boy. I've been feeding those placodent monsters for ten years, and do you know why? Eventually, they'll be powerful enough to act as my army and take over the Seven Seas. That's why I didn't want Professor Fumble's invention to freeze the seas solid. I'm not alone down here. There's somebody else waiting back at a cave. <laughs> you mean Mr. Samorborn? He can rot there for all I care. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh. Get him! Get that kid and get rid of him! <laughs> Who did that? Your former secret agent, Samorban. I thought you were back somewhere near a cave. I decided to come where the action is. I still owe you a lot, Marine Boy. <laughs> Here's your down payment diamond back, Wartoad. Hey, where's Wartoad? He's getting away! I'm going after him. Be careful! 
Thanks. Thanks, Marine boy. Someday we'll meet again and you'll be proud of me. Well, this means I'll go ahead without a sub. So worried about me, Splasher? What's the big idea of making everybody so worried? I'm sorry. They should have quite a story to tell us when we get back. P1 calling headquarters. We found Marine Boy and he's in great shape. He's all right. You're sure? Hooray! Marine boys, okay! I should have done that right in the beginning. From now on, I'll be Samor Bond, the good guy. <laughs> <laughs> 